Blessed greetings and welcome to First Day Power Surge here on the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast. I am your host and teacher, Pastor Vince Wilson. So glad you're with me on this Sunday, May 21st, 2023. First Day Power Surge is when we uh, go through our Bible lesson studies from week to week. We start a lesson, we continue through that lesson until we uh, completed it, and then we start a new lesson. So essentially, First Day Power Surge is our weekly uh, Bible lesson studies. Last week, we started a brand new lesson entitled Signs of the End, and the foundation is Matthew 24. We started that lesson, and I'm going to give us a little recap of what we covered last week. But moving forward, I decided to do something different. Instead of continuing through this particular lesson, I'm going to focus on Matthew 24 only. We're going to focus only on the Bible, as we always do. We always include the Bible with our lesson studies. But what I'm saying is, instead of going through the actual lesson, we're just going to focus on on Matthew 24 itself. Then uh, Then once we've completed Matthew 24... Then we'll go back to the lesson that um, uh, that is connected with Matthew 24, all right? So let us have a word of prayer before we get into our lesson study today. Loving Father, thank you so much that we're able to come together once again for First Day Power Surge, that we're studying your word. Uh, please prepare our hearts and minds to receive what you have to teach us today. As our prayer in Jesus' name, amen. Friends, once again, our lesson study is entitled Signs of the End. Our foundation is Matthew 24. Uh, Tell me something. Do these uh, terms mean something to you? One world religion, civil unrest, uh, one world government, or how about national Sunday law? I know national Sunday law is familiar to many of you, but not all of you are familiar with national Sunday law. But... All these are tied into our lesson entitled Signs of the End. What are the signs of the end? How do we know that we're living in the last days? Well, that is our mission here at Sacrificial Lamb Ministries, is to prepare everyone for the second coming of Jesus Christ. The fact is, we are living in the last days. Um, You know, the signs are all around us, and we want to, you know, just take a a closer uh, biblical look or uh, a... uh, a biblical application to what we're saying about these last days or the end times. So we covered last week uh, the first question. If you know already, if you've been following us for a while, you know that these lessons are in a, um, a question and answer format. So the one question that we answered last week, we said, or the question was, what three great signs did Christ say would uh, uh, would appear in the political world? What three great signs did Christ say would appear in the political world? The first one, fear and perplexity. Fear and perplexity. Luke 21, 25 through 27 say this. There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth uh, distress of nations with perplexity. There's that word perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear. There's that word fear. We said fear and perplexity. So men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. So the first sign that Christ speaks about is fear and, fear and perplexity. Number two, spirit of war. We know currently that there's the war or the, you know, the conflict, whatever you want to call it, between Russia and Ukraine uh, that's going on right now. So spirit of war. Matthew 24, 6 and 7 say, Ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. So, spirit of war. Second sign, spirit of war. 
And did you know that the cost of, of, uh, of World War I has been estimated at $400 billion? Just a little side note for you. Number three, great efforts for peace. 1 Thessalonians 5, 2 and 3 say, The day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So when they shall see, say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Jeremiah 6 and 14, They have healed also my people, slightly saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. So those are the three signs that Christ speaks about in the political world concerning signs of the end. Again, fear and perplexity, spirit of war, and great efforts for peace. All right, so we were going to get into part two of the lesson, but as I said, moving forward for the next several weeks or so, we're just going to focus entirely on Matthew chapter uh, 24, which is the foundation for this lesson. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read through Matthew 24. We're not going to read uh, together the entirety of Matthew 24 in this episode, but from week to week, we'll just, you know, just break it up into pieces. We'll read so much of Matthew 24. We'll, you know, we'll, you know, we'll take it apart. We'll analyze it a little bit and we'll just continue through Matthew 24 from week to week. And then we'll go back to the actual lesson itself. All right. So if you have your Bibles, please turn to Matthew 24, starting at verse one. Matthew 24, starting at verse 20. I'm sorry. Matthew 24, starting at verse one my reading and your hearing. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, uh, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown, uh, that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him uh, privately, saying, Tell us, what shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? So already, as we see here, the disciples are concerned about um, the end of the world, the sign of, of his coming. Uh, you know, they're assuming that, you know, the destruction of Jerusalem and, and Jesus' coming are simultaneous, that they're going to happen at the same time. Here's what Sister Ellen G. White says from Mount of Blessing, pages 120, 121, concerning Matthew 24, verses 1 and 2. Called, it's called Jerusalem, a sign of the end. She says, The ruin of Jerusalem was a symbol of the final ruin that shall overwhelm the world. The prophecies that, reveal, uh, that received a partial fulfillment in the overthrow of Jerusalem have a more direct application to the last days. We are now standing on the threshold of great and solemn events. A crisis is before us, such as the world has never witnessed. And that is so true. Again, from Mount of Blessing 120, 121, from Ellen G. White, concerning Matthew 24, verses 1 and 2. Let's continue on a little bit more. Uh, Matthew 24, starting at verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Now, do we see these things going on in our days right now? Um, in our society right now? Yes, I would say so. Um... Verse 11, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And, be, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And verse 14, 
And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. So the end is not going to come until this gospel is preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. This is what Sister Ellen G. White says concerning Matthew 24 and 14 from the book Education 264. And this is entitled Bringing an End to Sin. Our world is a vast laser house, a scene of misery that we dare not allow even our thoughts to dwell upon. Did we realize it uh, do we realize it it as it is, the burden? I'm sorry. Okay, let me back up. Did we realize it as it is, the burden would be too terrible. Yet God feels it all. In order to in order to destroy sin, and its results, He gave His best beloved, and He has put it in our power through cooperation with Him to bring this scene of misery to an end. And then she quotes Matthew 24 and 14. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Again, that comes from Education 264 concerning Matthew 24 and 14 by Ellen White. So again, the end will not come until this gospel, until this gospel is preached to all nations. She also says that um, you know, that God gave his best beloved, speaking of Jesus, right? And he has put it in our power through cooperation with him to bring this scene of misery to an end. Friend, we can only get the victory over sin. We can only uh, be prepared for the end with the help of Jesus Christ. We cannot do it ourselves. We try to do it ourselves. We always, as human beings, we try to fix everything ourselves, Right? We don't ask Jesus for help or anything. But when it comes to these last days, we're going to need the strength of Jesus, the faith of Jesus to get us through. Friend, we're going to stop there. Next week, by God's grace, we're going to come back to Matthew 24, starting at verse 15. And we're going to continue on through Matthew 24. As I said, we're going to continue through the book uh, of Matthew chapter 24 until we complete the entirety of Matthew 24 and then we'll go back and look at the actual lesson entitled signs of the end let us pray loving father thank you uh, thank you so much for what we studied today thank you for what you shared with us for the light that you gave us concerning your word help us to study your word throughout the week so we can hide it in our hearts uh, so that we're prepared to share it with others and that we're ready to come back together once again next week for another edition of First Day Power Surge. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, thank you once again for joining me here on First Day Power Surge. Uh, this is your host and teacher, Pastor Vince Wilson. We are in the midst of a new lesson study entitled Signs of the End. We're taking a closer look from the Bible at the signs of the end, the end times, what signs are pointing to the end times. We're already living in the last day, friends, in the last days. It's not like the last days essentially are, you know, a month from now or, when, or whenever. We're living in the last days now, in case you didn't realize. And we see a lot of these events unfolding in our society and our world before our eyes. So we'll continue our study next week by God's grace. Until next week, next Sunday, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast. Have a blessed week. Take care. And remember that the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast is a virtual outreach ministry of Sacrificial Lamb Ministries. We are outreach driven. Have a good one. And may the Lord be with you.